with this squad? Is there any single player that if they start uh, that you're, you're, makes you nervous? It seems like Greg is kind of dialing back towards experience in a lot of ways, right? We know Tim Ream mm-hmm. is, is is getting a lot of reps from what I understand, Jimmy, with uh with uh yep. with the uh the sure. I guess the the starting group or the most most common group on the field, and that's a, the experience that we you know you want, but not necessarily what we've relied upon going through the last two years of qualifying and whatnot. I'm not worried about anything, but if I'm looking at the lineup. The center back pairing of Walker Zimmer, Walker Zimmer man and Tim Ream, uh, that that is something that needs to be right from the jump. As soon as that whistle blows, I want to see them set the tone. They're they're aligned in their movements and you know pushing the line up, dropping back. That's got to be on point. And then the nine, whoever is playing the nine, if it's Jesus Ferrer, if it's Hodge Wright, Tim Weah, Josh Sargent, whoever it is, making being consistent. And you don't have to be involved in the buildup and get a lot of touches, but the movement has to be be done well. And the hold-up play has to be there because it's going to be very important in this match that they are there to be an outlet. If Wales does take that, that chance, and I think Kobe Jones touched on it perfectly, they've watched Tate. They're going to have their triggers. Maybe it's Walker getting on the ball. Maybe they know Tim Ream's great with, with buildup, but they're going to force it to Tim Ream's right foot because Tim Ream's not as gifted with his right foot and put it on Walker Zimmerman's left foot, focus it centrally and force them to Tyler Adams or you, or Wes McKinney checking to the ball. And then there, that's when the, the cue is for Wales to jump. So how right. quickly are they able to adjust and then play into the channel or play into their, their center forward on the, on the ground, because you cannot be playing in the air with these Wales uh, defenders playing to people's feet and then seeing if they can get out of pressure. That's, that's what I'm going to be looking for. Yeah, I'll be the same. I mean, I think it's less about the, any specific players, my fears, and more about what tactics. we saw in, in Japan and Saudi Arabia, more tactics in terms of, okay, plan A is not working. How quickly can we get to plan B and how quickly can we make plan B effective? And then plan B is not working. Okay, is there a chance to maybe because we've been going hard on that or plan C, that plan A is now back to being, how can we just adapt and, and to your point, just adjust, Charlie, to, to how we see situations and how quickly those decisions need to be made. Because we can talk about World Cup qualifying, we can talk about friendlies, but the World Cup and the speed of the World Cup and how quickly you have to make decisions and, and recognize situations is just a different different level. Do, and do you, and uh, I'm, for, I'm curious to see how the players respond. For, for, for both of you, Jimmy, I'll start with you. Do you expect that this game takes 15, 20 minutes to settle down, right? Like ball in I the do. air most of the time, a little bit more like championship football type stuff where the ball's in the air, dueling for second balls, not letting anybody settle in, maybe a few half chances early on, or do you expect, because that's not, that wouldn't be indicative of, of like, if I, Wales is going to sit deep, the U S is going to have a chance to settle down. Um, sure. No, no, no. I think, I think you're right. If, if Wales, there's a part of me that, that quietly thinks that Wales is going to high press us for the first, maybe 10 minutes, because if it's Gareth Bale out there trying to press, you're only going to get 10 minutes, 10 minutes out of him pressing anyway. <laughs> so, so, you got to think through, they're going to do something that maybe we're not expecting, right? We got to stop playing. It felt like we were playing checkers against Japan and we need to start playing some chess, you know? And, and I think that get, Wales has already proven it. You, know, you don't get to the semifinals of the Euros in 2016 with the same core players without having some savvy, right? And understanding how to adapt to situations and different teams and different styles. And then they got out of their tough group in the last Euros last summer. So I just think that experience, a little bit of craftiness, a little bit of just knowing how to survive the tough moments. It's something that our team has shown, but have they done it at a World Cup? Have they played it in a big competition? Yeah, bits and pieces, but maybe not as consistently as we'd like. Honestly, set pieces are going to be key through for all teams. I look back at the 2018 World Cup on my flight over, and it was amazing to me to, to get that reminder that, you know, France beat Argentina, you know, a Varane scored, I think, on two set pieces. That was 4-3, so there's some open play. But And then, and then Umtiti scored a header um, in the semis you know, to get them into the final. It's just crazy how valuable set pieces are going to be. And, and we go haven't back, scored one in a while. So. Go back to the 98 final, France-Brazil. That's right. It's, just, it's crazy. It's crazy how decisive that's going to be. So so ultimately, it's a good thing for us if Wales sits back. Because if we can – and our guys are very good at drawing fouls, right, because they're so good at taking people on. We should get a lot of free kicks in and around the box. We might not get as many corners because I don't know if with 10 people on top of the box if we're going to get to an end line a lot and, and get those types of corners but we could get a lot of free kicks and we got to take advantage of those so i don't know to your point heath it's 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 going to be hard to say but 
I almost want us to play, if they come at us, just to play a little bit championship-esque. You know, you just dump it into the other side, making them try to play pretty, and then the game will settle down and we can take it from there. Charlie, do you do you have any thoughts of 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 that also? We know, we know like sometimes you you imagine a world in which you look at the quality of our players and you go, Oh yeah, they just settle in and play, you know, Champions League style. Team sits <laughs> yeah. back, and we're gonna play through yeah, everyone, yeah, yeah. tiki talky. Right. And then you get you into know. those national team games and you're like, sometimes you go in at half and you're like, I don't think I helped the team. I don't think I hurt the team. I don't remember if I touched the ball at all. Like I don't like it because the game never settles in sometimes. It's so fast and so pacey that like the, the best thing you can do sometimes at the international level is just be high energy and that can have an impact. Well, this group found out the hard way in World Cup qualifying, <laughs> right? El, at El Salvador to kick it off. Zero zero. Yeah. yeah on paper, yeah. you're you're a thousand times better than El Salvador. But that means yeah, nothing. Yeah. If you're not good on set pieces, away at Panama, another one that you 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 felt that this team was slapped in the face. And then to finish World Cup qualifying at Costa Rica with them missing a yeah, few players. Yeah. Good point. So I think with with those moments, it gives them uh, one a confidence boost going into these games that yeah we might be better on paper and we're playing at these Champions League clubs, but you have to grind. It's about commitment and eth work ethic, tactics, communication, all the little things. Not so much oh can I do a Maradona? Can I do a couple step overs and <laughs> you know be my no that, that's not the international game and that's the difference between clubs yeah, football yeah. and, and, and oh international. So. Yeah. I, I hey, think up, guys? You all right? I think the work of qualifying, um, good man. I'm just doing a podcast right now. Kind of the ups yeah, and downs yeah, of it. Okay. Give me has, like, has give me like a couple minutes. Okay, cool. Sorry, I got I'm hanging out with my fans. I love it. Great, Charlie. Keep Jimmy it up. going, <laughs> Jimmy. Like Jimmy's head is no longer in the frame because he's it's getting so big. Uh, you know, uh, I love and, and, <laughs> and his head's on a swivel because he knows yeah. somebody's looking to just. It's just the Jimmy blimp now because he's floating. Yeah, I keep throwing. I see. I see him keep throwing his his uh, credential back on, which I think is like an actual thing because technically he shouldn't be doing uh, live stuff without a credential on. And from what we've seen from some of the reports out there, yes, That's from correct. from the from the Danish yeah. TV. Yeah, yeah. They, I have it in my hand. They're gonna put confiscate it back on. your. Yeah, they're gonna confiscate your phone. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think the phone maybe throws people. They, I think they just think I'm on a phone call or something. So <laughs> it's all good. I'm, pl I'm, I'm playing it. Yeah. Uh, playing it down. Yeah, but. I like that. Um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to bounce, boys. I'm, All I'm, right. Yeah, I'm he's out. getting nervous. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm getting a little nervous. Yeah, I I see yeah. it in your face. It's fine. Yeah, <laughs> you um, can tell. Yeah. All right. Well, thank but you so I much, Jimmy. Listen. We'll yeah. Go ahead. Thank you. Final thoughts. I can't wait to see you after. Final yeah, thoughts, my Jimmy. Final, my final thought right now is that I'm so excited that the U.S. has a game. There's been so much build up to this. This whole essentially podcast was built to the run up to this, and and we've talked so much about this team and how talented they are. Now they just have to go out there and prove us right because we know that they. Are incredibly talented and this 90 minutes is going to make a well we're going to find out how we're going to be feeling afterwards I, you know we might be on on tilt if it doesn't go the way that we want but i don't yeah, expect I've that to happen I've and, and i look forward to so seeing in my all life, of our amazing talking. community well i'm trying to stay cool man i'm only getting cool on camera so so i just i just am really excited about our community and being able to talk uh, after the game's over that's the next time we're going to see everybody so thanks for all having right. me boys all right been a pleasure stay safe and yep. talk run, home. Trust yeah. life. run home jim <laughs> Charlie, he got, he got, Jimmy got real nervous there at the end. It's like, uh, it's yeah, like, uh, the street really, lights came on and, and he knows that he's got to be home for dinner. You know what I mean? Uh, he got really yeah. scared Some, at the end. Something happened, you know, Some, uh, yeah, there. his eyes were yeah. like focused. He, yeah. He, yeah. He, yeah. He, yeah.